Outlander Season 4 finally aired one of the most horrific moments from Diana Gabaldon's time-traveling fantasy novels in last week's episode with Brianna Randall Fraser, but now one star has revealed things could have been very different for the character. Last week's installment of Outlander was a roller coaster for viewers, but ended on a truly harrowing note. The episode started with Jamie Fraser, played by Sam Hewen, and Claire Fraser's, Katrina Balfe, daughter Brianna, Sophie Skelton, reuniting with her lost love Roger Wakefield Mackenzie, Richard Rankin, in Wilmington, North Carolina. After an emotional moment for the pair they decided to have a hand fasting, which is a form of wedding for the time, and they culminated their love in an intense sex scene. But this was rapidly juxtaposed with an utterly harrowing twist when Brianna came across this season's despicable villain Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spillers. After a horrific argument with Roger that saw him deciding to go back through the stones to the 20th century, a heartbroken Brianna ended up in a local pub where she realized the Irish pirate had her mother's wedding ring from Jamie. Stephen raped Brianna as payment for the ring, despite her protests that it wasn't what she had in mind, and the locals barely blinked in response to what was happening in the room next door. While this scene will undoubtedly set the redhead on her next journey through the latter half of the season and her ultimate reunion with her parents, executive producer Meryl Davis has revealed the writer's room worked extensively to change the scene from the way it was written in the books. Sharing the process with The Hollywood Reporter, Meryl revealed, this one, moment of rape from the books, unfortunately, is very integral to the plot and as we move forward, so we needed to include this moment of violent aggression. There is no easy way to portray rape on television. There just isn't. No matter if we see it, if we don't see it. The important thing for us is the aftermath that it happens to this character in making sure that we're sensitive to that journey and that we're not shortchanging it at all. The producer explained how after talking to the director Jennifer Gessinger, the writers decided not to remain in the room with Brianna and Stephen for the duration of her abuse. Instead, they chose to portray the moment from the people outside the room, which ended up being a startling comment on the time and how 18th century folk simply wouldn't be phased by such horror. Whether we show the rape occurring or we're outside that room, it doesn't lessen the tragedy of that horrific experience for Brianna, Merrill continued. But we also wanted to show the tragedy of this environment that she's in and thrust into this new world and the violence. And the fact that no one was going to help her and how awful that was. The writer went on to tease the next episode of the series, where viewers will see Brianna in the aftermath of her traumatic ordeal. For one thing, she won't want to be touched by anyone, and will struggle with how to cope with this change in her, as Merrill said they wanted to give that its time and give her that moment. But as to the other major change from the book to the show, the producer revealed she and the rest of the team didn't want to explore Brianna's dormant through flashback form. We felt like that's certainly an interesting way to go, Merrill carried on. But we wanted to see her struggle with it and not have to have her hide it. We see that she's working through this, and we stay on that journey with her as opposed to having to look back and seeing if we could track where this happened. We wanted to give Sophie the ability to play that as a character as how it would affect her moving forward because this is a life-altering moment.